Good morning, it's Monday morning. Derby Jack here. Today I do my 14 hour day. Ugh. Anyway, 1 Corinthians. I mean, 2 Corinthians. No, 1 Corinthians, I'm sorry. Uh, 119. For it is written, I will destroy the wisdom of the wise and will bring to nothing the understanding of the prudent. And 18 before it. For the preaching of the cross is to them that perish foolishness, but to but unto us which are saved it is the power of God. And we all also remember uh, God has not given us the power of fear, but we have not given us a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. Um, you know, I've been watching stuff here and and no that even food that I have been buying, um, meats and stuff. I, I think I recently got sick off something that I had bought and I, I would think it was ground beef. And I had, uh, I take it, I'd get a pound or whatever, a couple. Then I take it home and before I, I put it in a freezer, but I individually wrap it up. You know, all my meats, I do that, so I have portions. And, but um, this last amount of meat that I bought I think there was something in it. And from what I'm understanding, they, they are putting stuff in it. Um, for us people who did not, you know, uh, uh, value the campaign of rolling up your sleeve, for us who did not do that, they're sitting there saying, well, these defiant people, we're going to find a way to make sure that they get the things that we want in them. And so they will put it in our food. They will spray it on our vegetables till it soaks into our vegetables. That's that smell that I keep telling you about. Now I'm starting, it's all starting to make sense. The smell is a chemical. Now, what they have in the chemical, you, you, you really would have to have the food tested. And of course, you'll probably never find a scientific lab that will ever test it because they're already put under scrutiny and they will have their licenses pulled and stuff so the, 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 you'll never find an uh, a, a a a kind of lab that 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 that's already you know you know well known and stuff to ever do it and probably private labs won't do it either no matter how much money you throw at them because they are under threat. They can't do that. They don't want people to know what they're putting into it. As a matter of fact, I remember seeing a, a video one time where somebody had said that they had basically got on the phone with somebody from, um, um, uh, um, oh, what the hell, uh, I keep forgetting the name of that company now, uh, or, or, or the corporation that sprays stuff all over, Monsanto. And they had talked to somebody from Monsanto and, you know, what are you putting into the, what, what is it you're spraying on our, you know, they're saying, well, it's for insecticides and stuff, but they're saying, well, what is it? And they say, you don't need to know, or we don't need to tell you, or we don't have to tell you what we put into our Monsanto spray. So they, they, they don't, they don't care about what you want or what you think. This is all a program and a narrative which you must get on board or else. That's why they're trying to implement their AI and trying to get everybody hooked up to the grid because eventually you're not going to be able to operate throughout this world unless you're part of the system, literally. Part of the system. Not partaking of the system, but pulled into it, uh, you know, like like a, a wire being put into a, a socket. That's what they want. So they can tell what you think, how you think, why you think. Tell whether you're a good person or a bad person, according to them. Down and, and wanting you to accept the what they give you. And of course, there's many of us who are not about that. Many of us who are defiant will be defiant all the way up to death if we have to. But no, I will not operate in this. Now, getting back to food, these mongrels will do everything they possibly can to poison us 
in any way they can. And um, uh, ethics, morality, reasoning, um, right and wrong are all blurred. That you, you, it's blurred. Yep. And you shouldn't have to question it. You know, we all want proper laws. People want gun laws. People want protection for children laws. But yet, isn't that a who? You, you want to protect the children, and yet you still want to protect people who want to abort babies. You want to protect children from guns, but yet you, you don't care about children being, be, be, being indoctrinated into a homosexual or transgender, you know. Oh, oh yeah, they are fighting against the transgender, but homosexuality is still out there. And children are being indoctrinated. They're going to get your children one way or the other. Let me say that again. They're going to get your children one way or the other. You keep sending them out to public school, you'll lose your children. You'll, you'll lose their hearts. You'll lose their minds. Because these witches and warlocks in the public schools, most of them, not all, but and let me put it this way. If you are a teacher and you are frustrated because you can't teach, get the hell out of that school. You ain't going to be able to do what you want to do. You're not going to be able to instill these children with anything proper. And you're just going to keep getting frustrated. And so your best bet is get out of the school. Don't be... Don't, don't even be around them other teachers because you know that those children that at that school you're working at, have no, they have no hope for the future. They are already indoctrinated monkeys and they will grow up to be indoctrinated monkeys and they will do what the government wants them to do. They will not have a life of their own and their lives will basically be miserable. So this is the hope of, the, uh, of your world for you people who hope in the world. You know, and, and, and like I said, what's happening to our bodies right now, my body, your body, we're eating the shit that they are producing. They, they are destroying our, our food. You know, be very careful. I've seen a video and it makes sense because this is how they lie to us. They're a bunch of fucking liars. But here's what they do. You get a package of beef, maybe, maybe ribeye, and it'll say on the package, made in the USA. But that's not true. A lot of this stuff is coming from other countries, which are injecting vaccines and shit and other stuff into the beef. That's being brought over here, and it's being cut up and packaged here. But that's not what they say. They say made in the USA. It should say packaged in the USA. Then you'll understand, well, wait a minute. Where did it come from? But they don't want you to think that. You see what I'm saying? This is control of how you think. Control of what you think and control of what information you get. They don't want you to, 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 to question their motives. Whether their motives are right or wrong, screw you. You just accept. This is your government. You, you, you think that, you know, they keep saying, well, you have a choice. You have a choice. You don't have a fucking choice. You never did have a choice. You were manipulated into a choice. Sort of like, well, if everybody else is doing it, I might as well. Yeah, that's exactly it. You might as well. You got no backbone to fight it. You got no will to fight it. That's many of you out there, especially, you don't got the will to fight it. You don't got the power to fight it. You don't got the strength. You, you, you don't have enough of this backing you up. Christians, you don't have enough of this backing you up. You don't have this to bounce off because you're living in fear and, and, and doing what they want you to do and, 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 and constantly ready to pull your pants down, bend over and get butt, you know. So this is, this is what's happening and be very careful. You're going to need to read ingredients on the labels. If you are buying it in a grocery store, that grocery store is packaged insecticide. The food in there, it's like going into, it's like, it's like getting a, a, a little roach motel trap. 
you're going in there and you're grabbing food and actually you're just grabbing poisons and you're taking it home and feeding your family and yourself with the poisons in which they're putting in there. And here's the thing, you monkeys, nobody's rising up against the companies. Nobody has the backbone to do it. And a good percentage of you don't even know what the hell's going on. You're so freaking blind. All you care about is taking your children to see Taylor Swift or, you know, uh, uh, worrying about the football and, 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 and this and that and, and, and a fake war up there and, 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 and what else could be, you know, uh, floating around in the, uh, in the atmosphere, right? And worrying about going to Mars and all other kinds of stupid shit. And AI, you know, controlling your, your children's thoughts. Y'all don't give a shit. You don't care. You think you care, but you don't care. Because you're all selfish and you want to do what you want to do and, you know. But the time of, of safety is gone. There is no safety in this world. The only safety you have is in Holy Spirit. Everything else in here is a roach trap. And you're the roach. I'm the roach. And they're going to trap you one way or the other. They're going to make sure that you get inside you uh, all the properties in which they want inside you because they have reasons. And they, they want certain types of metals, attracting metals. They, they want to be able to have what they got spraying in the sky to be able to interact with what's going on inside us. That should be, that should scare the shit out of you. That, that now you have alien, alien stuff in you that should not be in your body, but has been pumped in your body through your food, through your water, and through the through, through the crap that, that comes down in the rain, you know, that's floating around, that they spray in the skies. And you are now pumped up with all kinds of poisons. Why do you think that you have asthma? Why do you think that all these commercials with the sky stuff, all the little welts and, and, and discolorings on the, on, on, the sun is white now. It's the wrong spectrum. And everything coming down into your body, your body is rejecting it. You remember that, um, that, that thing that, I forgot the name of that, what they call it, where the little, the little wires would come out of the little hairs and they had different colors, melanoma. Or, well, anyway, they, that was a sign that your body is trying to push out poisons. And so there are things your body will react to. If your body is reacting to rashes, that means that there's something that you're getting in your body that shouldn't be there. That, but so they always have a medicine which hides the fact. So they can take care of the immediate, but that doesn't change the fact that you still have the poisons in your body. I know if, 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 if we could prove, if people, it can be proven. If, like I said, if you can get your meat tested, you can get your vegetables tested by some type of lab, you know, of course, more than likely, they're going to squash it. They're, they're not going to allow the public to, 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 get, to get wind of it, you know. And they'll just keep pushing their propaganda and keep pushing bullshit in our bodies. So, y'all need to think about that. Don't aim, just don't aimlessly go and buy something because it's on sale. Don't go to a restaurant and aimlessly just go to a restaurant and eat. McDonald's, Burger King is dog food. It's probably human. It's probably human, you know. Who, who's to say? Everybody's trying to cut corners. <laughs> so, yeah, maybe humans are cheaper than cows to put in food. But, you know, and God knows what... It's like cannibalism. Maybe they're putting other cows in, into a cow. You know, I don't know. They're, they're making, you know how pigs are. They'll throw all kinds of stuff and pigs will eat anything. You know, and, and so it's, it's to a point right now, everything is scrutinized. It must be scrutinized. Whatever you're going to put in your body, it must be scrutinized. Because 
Everything right now is become is becoming poison. By your by your shampoo, uh, by, by 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 the by the uh, toxins toxins in the air, by 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 the type of sprays that you buy, uh, 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 and, and deodorants and, and and all the odors and stuff now are not just fragrances. They are they they they, they are actual weapons. You you light a candle today that that, that scented candles. That is a weapon against you. It can give you asthma. It can make you sick. When it used to just be a candle with some type of, you know, uh, coloring or, or some type of fragrance, it, it's no longer that way. It's chemicalized. It's, it's, it's all kinds of stuff. And we breathe it in. People, like I said, you've got children being born with asthma. Well, if their parents rolled up their sleeve and then they had the child, God knows what the hell that child has in them. That has now been molded within the fabric of their bodies. So as these children grow up, they are already susceptible to what? The poisons. Their bodies are a little bit more resilient, but the same, the same happens to them. The, 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 the properties are to break the body down to change the body's molecular structure, basically. You know, to, to, to make uh, 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 everything from the DNA to all that, to, to change it into something a little bit different. And any change takes directly, it changes directly what God has created. And of course, we know that the monkeys doing all this do not like God, do or do not believe in God. Or, or just think that they're God. Whatever the case is, you know. Ask Lord Fauci. Yeah. So you understand, you know. You, you you're going to have to be very careful. It, it, for all you people who are so afraid, you're not afraid for the right reasons, and you're not afraid in the right areas. You're afraid of propaganda but you're not afraid of the actual threat. Let me say that again. Many of you are afraid of the propaganda, but you're not afraid of the actual threat or threats. The, the threats are not possible World War III. The threat is the poisoning of the minds of your children and the poisoning of the food in your body. That's the threat. That's one of them. The other threat is control. You're all done at caring about them controlling you. You don't have control over your life, and they're going to take more control. Meaning that the laws will be to the point, if you're living in this country, you will do as you're asked to do, or you will do as you're told to do, or you'll be imprisoned, or you will be killed. They will not tolerate people like me in their world. People like you, they won't tolerate in their world. Why? Because we're the voice of reason. They don't want reason. Why? Because we talk for the Heavenly Father. And we also have faith. And we defy them. They don't want that no more. They don't want anybody out there defying them. So it's easier to squash you. If they can't rehabilitate you, then they will squash you. So understand the world you're living in. I said it many times for all you people, it's my world, my oyster. You're going to be in that oyster, of course. Yeah, you know, it's not, it's not that. It is, this has become a prison. Okay, this world is a prison. Quite, 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 quite right. Technically, because of the shape of the earth and what is around us and what is over us. Yes, we are technically in a prison. There is no way out. Not in this form. There is a way out. But you've got to break free from this. You've got to break free from the flesh. You have to break free from the, from, from the spiritual darkness. It's the only way for you to get past that wall as they've been trying to do for, what, 50, 60 years? 
trying to get past that wall, that dome. So anyway, there you go. Be careful of what you eat. Be careful of what you do. Read labels. And do not just, do not just, you know, think that every place you go to eat is in your best interest. Derby Jack out. See you all on the other side.